Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borak and this is another episode of 7 Days to Die modded and this time we go with Undead Legacy, how to install it on your PC. Well, I was asked by mm, a user called Primal, Primal Cortex that uh, he wanted to know how to install this mod. Uh, nevertheless, it's relatively easy. Uh, so all you need to do is, first of all, go to Sub Subquake's uh, forum uh, page about Undead Legacy, where you can download the la latest version, because unfortunately, he is not in the seven, seven, days to die, 7 Days to Die mod launcher just yet, but probably he will uh, advance to that um, sooner or, or later. So usually what I do with this type of mod, I just go to my 7 Days to Die folder, where I have it, well, on my in my in my steam uh, library steam apps common seven days to die that's the main vanilla uh, seven days to die folder copy everything with just select and copy whatever you do uh, copy then create another folder uh, i usually have like modded versions of the game uh, like over here and i choose one um, as a I named that folder under legacy, copy it over here, just paste it, uh, copy it files, and then what you need to do is just go to Subquake's uh, page, and down here, just below PayPal and Patreon, yeah, go ahead and always support uh, creators, uh, you will have all the information about this mod, and down here, there is download uh, section where you can uh, download standard back backpack with easy anti cheat friendly version a multiplayer dedicated server or single player with the latest version or go with 72 slot backpack which i'm always all about just download that and since that is really a uh, newest version of the game or up to date and i need to update my uh, game as well once it's uh, downloaded it should be done right now. All you need to do is just unpack all the stuff uh, that is down here. Just copy it over uh, to the fresh folder that you have created for this mod, something like that. Bada beam, bada boom. Um, just copy, move those elements, always confirm as a yes. And pretty much that is ready to go. And all you need to do is start create a shoulder, uh, shoulder folder uh, or the shortcut on your screen and there you go under legacy if you start it you go with under legacy but always bear in mind that you should um, be aware that opening different saves from different mods might uh, blow up your save so always keep in mind to uh, have a backup of those saves just in case if you screw something up so basically that's it two three minutes in no time you will be able to play that mod so here you go primal cortex i hope that will clear few things for you and yeah as usual thank you sub subquake uh for making this mod it is really awesome and providing us with all the changes especially big as backpack so okay guys that's gonna be it for today's episode off topic a bit but i hope that will help uh, if so hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see and I hope that we will see each other in the next episode. So till then, take it easy, have fun, and happy gaming. Bye-bye.